You asked, we listened. Backed by popular demand, MASD Virtuosos presents 2020's edition of Bach and Rock. So, Mrs. McNear, you did a Bach and Rock last year. What's different about this one? Uh, well, actually, it's backed by popular demand because we had such a great response last year from both the students and the community. So we decided to bring it back with a new theme. So it won't be the same music as it was last year. Awesome. And uh, what did it take to plan and get everything just put together for the whole show? Uh, the process that we go through each year, uh, we're fortunate to have a, a faculty band. Mm -hmm. And so we usually start in a meeting with them and we decide together on what the theme is going to be. So the theme this year is going to be 80s big hair bands. Oh, wow. Once we come up with the theme, then the band actually makes their wish list what, uh, based on what they know that they're comfortable playing. Mm. I then take that list and take a look at the singers that we have and make sure that the songs can be covered in a healthful way because rock is really challenging to sing. Yeah. So sometimes I'll take a few songs off, maybe add a few or suggest a few if it's ones that, that works for them as well. And that's our process. And then we start practicing. Wow. So, Brayden, I understand that you're doing not only a box song, but also a rock song. Uh, can you describe a little bit of the dynamic between them and what it was like learning both styles of music? Yeah, sure. So, um, with our box selection this year, it's not necessarily box actual music. Yeah. It's more or less the reference to the more classical type of singing and the techniques. Right. And moving like oh. to rock and stuff, like, you know, rock's super loud and it might be um, like the guys sing super high, and but they can also sing super low, so their ranges are all over the place. Mm -hmm. But what's kind of interesting uh, for like, the learning aspect is that you can take the techniques that you learn in classical music and transfer them over to rock. It's just the different kinds of little like tweaks that you do mm -hmm. with yeah. rock and with classical that makes them so different. As far as I know, you are the leader of some of these practices. Can you just go ahead and talk about some of that? Okay, well, I mean, for Bach and Rock, I don't, I don't know if I'd call myself a, a leader. It's, it's really a cooperative process. Mm -hmm. um, but we go through really two stages. Uh, first, I'll work with students with an acoustic guitar, and uh, I'll kind of get a starting point for where they are and, and, and what they're doing well and what could use a little work, and then we'll transition into playing with a full band rehearsal. And when we get there, it's, it's really just conversation among everybody mm -hmm. cooperating to, to help this thing turn out as well as possible. So Mr. Brown, you said you work with students one-on-one. -on -one. How would you say that changes the dynamic of the relationships while working with them? Well, it's, it's kind of interesting, really, because um, normally when I work with students, I'm teaching my normal subject content, and um, I see them as a math student, or I'm a math teacher, or a STEM student, a STEM teacher. But this allows us to see a totally different side of each other, and I think it just helps us appreciate each other a little more in a new way. Now, Mr. Hall, if you really know it well as a math teacher, how would you say that music and math could be connected in some way? Well, music and math actually is very systematic uh, in terms of chord progressions, uh, depending on what key you're playing. Also, going from verses to chorus, back and forth, and bridges, and how they're all interlinked together. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there's, there's a lot of systematic stuff within music that most people don't realize uh, in terms of beats, uh, whether you're playing a four count or and eighth notes and stuff like that. So there's a lot of systematic stuff in math and music. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like math, uh, not math, sorry, music has any kind of effect um, in your daily life? Oh, yes. Music for me is a stress reliever. Um, I play at my church almost every week and it's wow. kind of like a breath of new life, so to speak, mm -hmm. when you're bogged down with your daily activities at work and then also dealing with family at home. to get a chance to go play music and just let everything go. Man. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's great. So I, I enjoy playing music. I look forward to this rock and box stuff that mm -hmm. we are doing with the kids and, and all that because it's just interesting to see what kids can also uh, bring to the table. So, Maddie, this being your first year in the Bach and Rock recital, can you just talk a little bit about um, you know the uh, experience you're getting and just how you've been enjoying it thus far? Well, I've been really enjoying it. It's like getting welcomed into a new family. Mm -hmm. Everyone's so caring. The band is amazing. The music yeah. is amazing. And there's an bunch of amazing songs. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, how would you describe like the synergy between you guys? I mean, Bach and Rock, they're two almost completely different things, and yet you guys are putting them together. How would you describe how that's going? Well, it's going really good, because it's like an amazing mix between those two. Mm -hmm. Like, You get some classical, then you get some 80s rock, and it's just really good. So I'm here with Jules McKenzie. 
you guys do a lot throughout you know your daily routine, whether it be projects, you know, school virtuoso, I mean, you name it. How do you balance all of that? So I think it really takes skills of time management and really prioritizing the things you're going to do throughout your day and balancing practices and the different days that you can work if you have a job and it really just takes a lot of balancing skills. Yeah, so I have a planner that I use basically religiously, like everything's color coded, so everything I'm doing for the day is in my plan. So you guys have been working together like with on a lot of shows, whether it be Virtuoso or Bach and Rock. How would you say that like has strengthened your guys' relationship? So our very first show together was Into the Woods, and we were baby freshmen, and we kind of just really worked off of each other and supported each other, and it really helps to relieve the stress that a show can bring on. We spend so much time together, both like at Virtuoso, at school, outside of school, so it was just kind of down the path. Oh.